Hello and welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. I am Jen. Amanda. Kathleen. And we are the team behind Yarnia, Montclair's local yarn store, which I just said and I'm saying again. <laughs> because, yeah. I'm still We're drinking. in Montclair. I'm, we're in Montclair. And we're a yarn store. <laughs> Did you know that? Um, but this podcast is all about knitting and crocheting and fiber stuff and... And project and, bags. And project bags and <laughs> all the things that you can do with yarn and then, like, you know, adjacent. Fiber. Exactly. Yeah. Fiber, yarn fiber adjacent. adjacent activities. Um, Yes. We're, we're all a little punchy uh, today. I got a are. cross stitch on the wall walk. <gasps> you did? Yes, I did. I don't know if I can show it on this podcast, mm. though, because it's... Uh-huh. A little naughty. naughty. Uh-huh. I so like we'll that. See. <laughs> That's fun. But I haven't started it yet. Yeah, we're all coming off of the wool walk, which is why we're a which little... Which is like, why we're a little <laughs> punchy. So it was the setup to the wool walk, the actual wool walk, and then yesterday... For me and Sasha, the breakdown of the wool walk. <laughs> yeah, it's like cleaning up after Christmas. It really is. Yeah. All that. It's a lot. It is it's a, a lot. lot. Put it's your podcast lot, lot. on and just, and just yeah, you know, blow through it. But mm-hmm. we hope you guys. We're, it was so great to see everybody on the wool walk. It was. It and was. You know, everyone who was able to make it in person, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you for introducing yourselves. Yeah, yes. you I loved it. We like, loved. It's fun. always fun to meet lots of folks. It's so great because I'm usually only in the store like for like a short amount of time. Oh, like, you were here a, week. a lot, but you I were, was here. You were, you were here day after day. It was. I was great. here it was like so fun. five day. I was gonna say not five days in a row because Tuesday I sat on my butt and did nothing because <laughs> I was like, but yeah. So I'm not used to sun, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> yep. And Jen is one of our greeters. And yes, because I am terrible at the register. <laughs> And the register is hard during Wool Walk. The register is, it's, it's pressure. It's just it's, so I well, love and it. we had two registers. Now yeah. we, had, we brought out mm-hmm. a second register, which I think helped a lot. Oh my gosh. Like, to reduce it, capacity. It really did. Even even on days when, like, as, as the week goes on, it, you know, we're not kind of full all, the entire time. We've got, you know, like, you've got ten people, and then you've got one or two people, and then you've got ten people, and then you've yeah. got one That's or two people. That's how it is. Yeah. I don't know how y'all yes. plan that, but you do it really well to, like, yes. all come and clump. For sure. Yeah. But but even, you know, later on on Friday at one point, Randy and I were each on a register, even though, like, for sometimes, literally, there was no one else in the store. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but so it was, was also really good. handy to just be like, oh, I don't know, do we have nine of these? Exactly. I think we do, but let me check. Yeah. Um, you know, very smart. Good job, man. Yeah, that was that was definitely a good addition. Yeah. yeah. I've only been thinking about doing that for four or five years. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yes. Well, it's sometimes... I just finally got around to it. Yeah. I know. But we're, we're going to we're gonna make it be our Ravelry Yes. Kiosk again now, right? We'll, well, we'll back to the Ravelry kiosk. Yes. Yeah, yes, which because is that thing. that was also it's like normally that's very very used. But yeah. we know. have a iPad in our store yeah. for folks to like look up the pattern that you were mm-hmm. thinking about mm-hmm. and remember the yardage mm-hmm. for your size mm-hmm. or for us to help you find a pattern yeah. and it's so much easier than two people crowding around it's a little tiny phone, phone screen <laughs> yeah so mm-hmm. we have that but that's what we mm-hmm. took out and made it a mm-hmm. register for a little bit mm-hmm. yeah and now it will return to its usual location mm-hmm. it's about and who knows maybe we'll even i don't know part of it too is like it it's great. It was great for Wool Walk, but I think it does kind of use up some of that counter space. Maybe if we yes. reconfigure a little, we will kind of keep a second one waiting in the wings for busy times. Yeah. Well, I mean, and this is the thing. We're always kind of like... We're always tweaking well, not everything. not to mention the register... We're serial tweakers. <laughs> the register, like, holder that I bought doesn't actually fit the iPad, so it's held to the back with Gorilla Tape. <laughs> it looks Gorilla good, Gorilla Tape though. is magic. It looks <sighs> good. But you know what else I was just thinking of in terms of serial tweaking? We were joking about this this morning as we were mm-hmm. setting up for the podcast. Because one of the questions we answered in our last podcast, episode 75. So I know today's episode to know. is 76. Oh, shoot. I gave it away. I was. <laughs> wait, she knew that. I, I was, remembered that. You, part. you probably did. I just was wait until next, it anyway. Just wait until next time because I'll. It, 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 in one ear, I'll. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we. You know, we talked about what was on the wall behind us. So guess what Sasha and I did yesterday? We changed the wall behind we us. We moved it. Because during Wool Walk, we did sell a lot of some of the things that were moving out. So I was able to make some changes that I've been trying to make for a while. So now things we're have moved have... around just yeah. a little, just enough to throw tweakers. you off. I love these. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see them so much better. I think seeing them on the shelf is so much better. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. when we didn't have enough room, baskets were better than nothing. But yes. right now that we've got shelf space. So, just FYI, this is Noro <laughs> Subame. Yeah. And this is, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Kathleen Kathleen Gory. That's what, Kathleen, you made your rocket? My rocket tea. The rocket tea. Oh, that's right. That with, I almost wore I that today. I was looking at this color. 
Yes. The yeah. black. That reminds me of Cory Confetti almost. The it dark Cory Confetti. I mean, confetti. that's totally like. This is Geshi up here. Yes. Geshi so here. these are all summery yarns. These yeah. are all more, which is, this again, is a good too. thing. Yeah, I actually took home my Subami top because Beth is coming home. I was going to say, Your yeah. Subami top is, a friend of mine was like, that top in the window, is that for sale? And I was like, you gotta pry it out of Amanda's daughter's hand <laughs> to look with that. Yeah, it's an easy it's like, she's one. She's scrappy. Though. What's, mm -hmm. um, it's the name of a French city, but it's by Amy Christoffers. Oh, yeah, I forgot look. that that was by her. Oh, yeah. it's, and I wonder, oh, I don't gosh, know what it is. I can see it. Oh, uh, anyway, because I told. Lord. Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I okay. told, mm -hmm. I told my friend who is a very beginning knitter, I was like, you could make that, I could help you. You could totally make yours. And mm -hmm. she was like. Yeah, it's not mm, hard. It's a, no. it's a good one. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to work on her. Okay. That would also be really pretty in Kakagori though. I mean, I uh, loved it in the Subame, but Kakagori would be like another twist on it. A nice yep. summary. So, okay. anyway, we digress. Oh, and we actually, digress. I was catching up on some of Natalie's videos the other day, and yes. I know we're obviously not the only ones that say that. Natalie, nitty, nitty. Yeah, yeah, but she, um, she was also saying that she digressed. <laughs> I was like, oh, like me, we, are we rubbing off? I'm rubbing Maybe. Off. <laughs> rubbing. I, but I also feel like we all do, because it's like you get a train of thought, yes. and then that train kind of like veers this way, and then you're like, oh my god, I remembered this thing, and then you're like, But I think the fact that there are three of us, it like yes. makes it, you know. We're just like, Badoo, badoo, kind of badoo, badoo, badoo. We're all build on each other. Build on each other. I missed all the garden sales last weekend. I'm sort of annoyed. Uh, oh, I forgot and that they were going on. The, the Iris Gardens had their garden yes. sales. Oh, the yes. Iris Gardens had theirs? Yeah, not the ones where they sell the irises. That's mm -hmm. in July. Mm -hmm. okay. But the one where they had the plant sale. The regular sale. plant sale. Yeah. yeah. So, that's uh, annoying. So, they I have a regular plant sale? Because I want the iris sale. That's in July. I mm -hmm. want those rises. I will tell mm -hmm. you guys. So, we have... You can um, have some of mine, too. I have a lot. That? I have a bunch what's of What's the name ones. of that iris garden? Presby. Presby mm -hmm. Iris Gardens. Iris Gardens mm -hmm. in Montclair, New Jersey. Um, it's on Beautiful. Upper Mountain Ave, uh, toward the north, near Montclair State University. Mm -hmm. But they have, is it the world's largest it collection of, or, of, of iris. irises? And I, actually, iris is the plural of iris. Oh, so iris. Oh, of we, iris. we used to live pretty much around the corner. When Haley was really little, she thought it was part of her backyard. Oh, because, nice. Because like, we'd go there almost every night after dinner. She's like, this is mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's... <laughs> It's getting almost to that season, so we're at the beginning of May now. It's usually at the end of May. Yeah, like the between Mother's Day and Day. the end of May, it depends yeah. on the weather. It's full bloom. Right? bloom. That's full, full bloom. Bloom. It's amazing. Go. Yeah, go there are it. some that go back Stunning. to the fifteen hundreds. It yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Though I think now they they may have moved those to a more secure area, which is so sad. But you know, like when you think about it, plants that are five hundred or the you know the heritage of them is five hundred years old. Yeah. That is pretty darn amazing. Yeah. Yeah. To have in a public park. So <laughs> they have. They have an amazing collection, but if you've ever had irises in your yard, they like they're rhizomes. They're rhizomes. Thank you. I was like, they're like ginger. They yes. are. They look very much like ginger. <laughs> they look like ginger too. They're tubers. Yeah, so, but they like spread underground and just like mm -hmm. multiply. Very and, shallow roots. Yeah, but they will take over a whole section. So to keep like mm -hmm. you know all the different varieties in a pretty compact space, they have to like prune, they divide them, prune mm -hmm. underground some, mm -hmm. and then those extras. They sell, and you can take yeah. them home to your garden and plant them. So and, really and they're, cool they're like, varieties. They're like grab bags. They're like yeah. you know you don't they know have exactly of, what you're getting. Sometimes you know what you're getting. Yeah, oh, so cool. you can get you can then, get both. Yeah, and then they have the grab bags. So we've got every year. I try to go and get like a grab bag or maybe mm -hmm. one or two that the kids like and. Plant I've gotten them for my mom for Mother's Day. Like she liked the mini iris, <laughs> and so I was like, All "Here's minis. a grab bag of the minis." And she actually didn't plant them for a year because they were doing something or other. I can't remember. And maybe mom will learn how to comment and comment below. <laughs> Tell us what it was. <laughs> I can't. She's never going to do that. Um, she knows that too. Uh, but uh, she didn't plant them for a year and she planted them and they're still they're fine. They're still oh, fine. Wow. Yeah, they were they, great. I mean, they she kept less. them in a cool, they're, dark place. Yeah. Right. They, they store well. They're pretty but, amazing. Um, we're doing some, uh, we're doing oh, a I'll kitchen put some renovation. Pictures. As we had that conversation, you would have seen some would've pictures seen. from the yes. iris. Because oh, I've got some photos that are. Oh, no, we photos. actually, yeah. I, I usually, that's one of those. Or maybe things. I'll put it at the end. I'll put it at the end. There'll be a slideshow of mm -hmm. irises at the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have, um, <laughs> someone's checking out the window. There's someone at the window. <laughs> so sometimes we're like, are mm -hmm. you going to knock or are you not going to knock? I don't know. <laughs> don't knock because we're closed. There's a sign that says we're filming. Um, <laughs> filming in session. Please do not disturb. We're about to start a kitchen renovation, which uh, I apologize oh, wow. in advance for my insanity that will be happening. 
Um, Though summer's got to be better than winter for doing it, right? At least you I can hope cook so. Out but and we're stuff. also doing the backyard. At the oh my time. goodness! Yeah. Shoot me! You're gonna come to my house and have. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, we're going to be eating on like some, you know, com- I mean, compostable place, uh, by like table setting or whatever. But one of the things we're just is that. Turcot Tuesday. Turcot Tuesdays. <laughs> and you can do um, Wednesday Wednesdays, except I'm here on Wednesdays. Yeah. Wednesday Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show up and be like, hey, Gene, what's for dinner? Gene, what are we making? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Here's two boys. Well, You're not used to this energy. <laughs> and uh, he'll say, I- I've got. T.S. Ma on speed dial. <laughs> right, I mean, like, it's going to be a lot of T.S. Ma and a lot of Tinga. I can tell you that, and Mr. Dino's down the street. Um, but we, one of the things, before we do everything, I was like, okay, we got to take out the peonies and put them in the front yard mm-hmm. where they'll be safe, and we got to take out all the irises. And then I'm like, okay, so when we do the backyard and when we re- landscape, I'm like, I want irises everywhere. And yeah. I want peonies everywhere. And hydrangeas everywhere. Too. Those are my three favorites. My peonies are coming up well. They are insane. It's lovely. So, long-time viewers of the podcast may know that I've had babies for a while. (laughs) Right? And immediately after you have a baby, mm, gardening is a challenge. Right? And when you're pregnant, you can't garden because of, like, what if that starts with a T, bad... Oh, yeah. It's the the same thing. You 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 can't change kitty litter. Yeah, which was great. Let me tell you. (laughs) Highly recommend. But my gardens were completely overgrown, and, like, my peonies... Like, they they were struggling because, like, weeds had overgrown them and, like, smothered them. So I, like, cleared it out last fall. And now they're coming back so nicely. I've got, I got, like, peonies. probably 20 buds that are coming up. Yay. So, we love nice. them. They're they only have one <coughs> small peony plant. Hopefully they'll reestablish. I think I have five. In our Big backyard ones. in Brooklyn, one whole side of... Um, you know, but one like little walk had all peony plants all along. It was so I love pretty, it. Yeah. and I love their flower, their uh, leaves oh, too. Rather, yeah, than, I mean, they're, they're very attractive very even pretty after greenery. Yeah, um, there is a house on Park Street that has like just like a um, like a alley, like mm-hmm. the same kind of thing. Like one whole side is peonies, mm-hmm. and every time I'm like, oh, I love them so much. But only <laughs> the double blooms, and I like the white, the yellow. Oh, um, see, I lo- I have a whole mix. I want a variety. Mm. So I got like seven different plants back there. Wow. We had all pink. It was all like a medium pink. They were very pretty. Very and I'm not pretty. a pink person, but it was very my mom. The peonies so are, yeah, pretty. I was going to say peonies are different. I'm a collector. Are, yeah. Of irises, of yarn, of peonies. Of right. Project bags. Oh, project bags. <laughs> stitch <laughs> markers. They don't oh have my gosh, stitch markers. Yeah. The more yeah. variety, the better. All of the things. Yes. All of the things. Uh, okay. All right, we should get into it. Topic. I'm also just going to do a quick digression of the reason we have the wool folk in front of us is Amanda ran to go get her tea. And I was like, oh, can you grab me a coffee? And she was like, uh, and I was like, you know, a half and half and one shot of liquid. And she's like, how much half and half? And then as, as we usually do, we point to the wool folk <laughs> and how say, do you like your coffee? how nice do you like of... your coffee? Black to a splash. A splash. That's a splash of milk. A little bit more than a, a bit splash. Of milk. I guess normal people's regular. That's me. Yeah. And mine. <laughs> like, and I'm just gonna nice. say, it's Probably perfect. Very I yummy, just touched this and I'm like, this one. She's like, uh huh. Uh huh. And I'm like, <laughs> like I just one want to of the liquid sugar. Depends on the day. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But I have to say, the wool folk, for yarn folks, if you could be like, how do you like your coffee? Do you like it? Yeah. What's color nineteen? <laughs> Uh, color 23. <laughs> I'll have to remember this. Color one. 22. All right. right. Or are you me and you want it like melted ice cream? Color 21. Right. There you 19, go. 21. 19, 22. 22. 22. Yes. I'm so going to say. So that's my other 22. number I'm going to remember because the gold is 27. So that that I do know. I need, I need the lightest wool folk. Mm. I mean, I you're lucky I didn't say what, oh, 01. Yeah. I mean, you could also two. do it with some of the how dye that's like directly behind us. The um, yes, the how newy. The how newy, because I feel like this is black. Like it doesn't yeah. go light enough. Oh no, it does not go light. Enough not light enough for you. I'm sorry. I need. Yeah, I need it. I need wool folk. I think that must be one. That's I can't do. One I can't do Noro light. Mm. I can't do Noro. My milk is not Noro. My milk <laughs> Noro is, is not light enough. My milk is wool folk. I need a wool folk milk. <laughs> so you know what? But I, I feel think like this should be a beautiful color, right? Wouldn't it is it? very pretty. Like it would. Mm-hmm. I, 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 so that was my last digression, but I'm still going to leave it here because it looks so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. 
I know. So, uh, what do we, what do we, so shall we? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so, here's what I think we should do. Okay. Why don't we talk about our winner from not our last episode, <gasps> yes. which was episode 75, where we answered so many questions, and also, um, so awesome. I have been remiss in responding individually to questions, because we did, and Karen Mattingly, regular podcast watcher, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know who you are, she was so funny, she commented and said, oh, I figured that you guys, you know, recorded right after, because Will Walk was coming. She lives in California. <laughs> so thank you, Karen, oh for, for being on that it. on it. Exactly. On it. More so, so than we were, because at one point we were like, oh no, we're supposed to record during the wool walk. And we're like, oh no. That should not happen. And then I was like, but I'm away the week before the wool walk when we're supposed to record. And we're like, oh no. So like a day before, so we're like, we're going to we, record today. We literally recorded like three days after the, the episode came out where yeah. we... Um, asked you all to ask questions, and then by the time the episode came out, whatever. So anyway, I will go through and respond to those comments because yeah. there oh, were I can some. Help with that too. Yeah. Same. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I I really do enjoy it. I love I love it's listening fun. to it. I love it's... reading the comments yeah. and seeing what you guys have to say, and you know all of your questions and stuff. Mm-hmm. But there it's were great. there were a couple of people, and Karen might have been one of them. Excuse me. Who said? Um, did you guys remember to do a giveaway? And we did not. We no. were so focused on our questions and answers yeah. that we didn't do a giveaway. So we are going we to... We also only got to nine questions, if you'll notice. We yeah. did? Yes. I think we forgot one. No. Well, we I combined mean, a couple, though. Well, and plus, no, I ha- we were on a deadline. Yes. Yeah, we had, we had, we had, we had, the, the store was going to be open, so. so we're like, we gotta move! That's true. <laughs> so, the winner um, of the, the question prior. from episode 74 is Sabrina Grant. <gasps> Yay! Congratulations, Who, Sabrina! And we, you know, I always do like a random generator. I count up how many comments were not co- responses by Yarnia. This one was right. easy because I only responded to a couple. And then do a random number generator and sort it, whatever. And then, um, so Sabrina was the number that came up in that sort order, and she wins a black Magic. That is so nice. Those Wax are the good bottom project steel. bag. That's Man. the last one, right? This that is, is the, the last, last one. one. And that's why yeah. whenever we announce a prize, I put it away right away. I take yes. it out of inventory so that it cannot be ordered by someone else. Because the rest of those sold out like... They did. And well, I was watching had, them yeah. and I was like, well, if there's any left over after Wobble, if I get one. Oh, you, one you didn't get one again? I didn't get one again. Oh, it's no. Okay. It's they okay. sold out by like. Okay. So you know what? All right. I will, I will order more fabric because okay. we are also almost out of the skein coats. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I know Shayla's got Maryland sheep and wool adjacent activities coming up this weekend, yeah. so I'm not bothering her now. But I no, will no, no, no. be it's in okay. touch next week and we'll, because we have already talked about our next order of um, the Laveau bags. Yes. But we need to, we we had our brainstorming session and now we need to get down to like nailing down what the actual order is. So we'll order some more of the fabric ones as well, which I wasn't necessarily planning on doing, but yeah, they, we sold out of the last of those within the, and I mean, to just get one right away this time. I just Just do it. You gotta pull it. it. <laughs> you gotta pull it so, right away. So Sabrina, send us um you know, email us at hello shop Yarnia with your address and say you're the winner of the bag and I will get that right out to you. Yeah. Right? What that means is if you wanted one of those bags, unlike me, you were like, I'll get it next week, I'll get it next week. Next time get it, because what Kathleen said was she's not gonna order me. <laughs> <laughs> get it this time. When it comes get out. it this time. Yeah. Don't be like me. I mean, this is the thing, and I, I said this to a couple of people uh, at Will Walk, especially on like Sunday and Monday. I was like, if you see something you <laughs> like, you should grab it now because mm-hmm. if you wait and say, "Oh, I'll come back," it might not be. It right. may not be there. It may not and be there. And even like stuff with that, you know, there was a lot of stock on. If you know, if we have twenty skeins or something, but we have two people coming in for sweaters quantities, then like. <laughs> That's why the other day I'm like, Jen, get your get your class yours I, today. Yes, and I was like, I bought. Oh some. my god, that's so smart. I knew another customer bought yep. some. I'm like, I, I want to make my sweater, but I know you want to make your sweater We're too. Make my sweater too. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay because mine's going to be again like this one, short sleeve. We all have things for your. I mean, a lot of times I choose to put things back, and I don't regret it. There are yes, a couple yeah. of things in my mm. life that I regret not getting. Mm. One is an Emilio Pucci ski vest, puffer ski vest. <gasps> at a consignment store. It was such oh a good God, price. And I know I should have gotten that. Yeah. I regret it. Those, those are the hardest when it really is one of a kind. That's that the, was that's like the absolute, yeah. 15 years ago and I still regret it. You still it. think of it? <laughs> I still really, really regret that. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> this anyway. is why I'm a terrible person to clean out my closet with because I'm like, I mean, I am not a minimalist in any way, shape, or form. Um, and I understand those who are minimalists, but I'm like, there are some things that you can't replace. 
Yes, they definitely are. Yeah. And you yeah. know what? There are some oh, things yeah. that are, uh, mm. like, it is okay, unless it is invasive on your life. There's no, nobody gets a prize mm -hmm. for not having, for having only, like, their newest clothes. Yeah. Right? Nobody gets mm -hmm. a prize for mm -hmm. not having a bin in the basement of special treasures. Mm -hmm. You don't win life. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. if you, well, you, if have, you have to do, you have to do what works for you. Right. Basically, if it makes, what it is. if yeah. it weighs on you, mm -hmm. knowing that you have stuff that you're not going to wear again, or me. you're not going to like do that, like <laughs> then get rid yeah. of it. But I it know. doesn't weigh on me. Yeah. What weighs on me are the things that I've given away yeah. that I shouldn't have, yeah. mm -hmm. or I've, you know, yes. yeah, well, like missed out on. Well, it was funny when Haley was really little. Um, she, she, I don't even know why, because. I, I know why I collect things. My mother gave away my teddy bear when I was oh. <laughs> And she is the sweetest person in the world. My mother is so lovely. I think she really thought I didn't want it anymore. Yeah, and done. like somebody, there was a little kid on our street who, you know, liked the teddy bear or something. She's like, oh, here, Kathleen. I was probably 10 at the time. And so through high school, college, and my early adult years, I managed to accumulate over 100 bears. Oh, wow. <laughs> I make up for that one I missing was, bear. I was the bear girl. Yeah. Yep, I have some. I have some original Stife bears from like Whoa. the first couple of years oh, that wow. they came out. I, so I do still have some, but most of them I have no attachment to anymore. Yeah. And but I, you know, so I kind of went a little overboard in compensating for giving that one thing away just a little. No, <laughs> and then there was the teapot collection, oh. which actually, if anyone wants teapots. <laughs> Like, hello. <laughs> I mean, really, people get like us on the But yeah, I feel like there are people who are either collectors or who aren't collectors. And the thing, oh, like, I know a couple collector. of people who are by nature collectors who are always striving to be minimalist for whatever reason. And I'm kind of like, it's, it's like a, it's like a self war, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. like you're, you're mm -hmm. beating yourself up yeah. for wanting to have these things that are special to you near you, mm -hmm. and you're saying I shouldn't. And I'm like. Be kind, be kind to yourself. Be kind just, to yeah. yourself. I'm mean, like, if you now, like, don't get to hoarder levels, right? Yeah. Like, not everything is a special treasure, and like, you don't <laughs> need to save. Like in my house, I tell the boys, I was like, we don't save packaging. Uh, so I'm like, all of those Lego boxes that you were trying to hide underneath your bed, <laughs> they're going in the recycling because they are not special treasures. Mm -hmm. The Legos are the special treasures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but like, we're also not going to hoard plastic bags or like little snips of yarn, Ollie. Um, <laughs> because Maybe unlike... can teach him how to make amigurumi. Unlike Haley, he's not using them to stuff amigurumi. Right. He's just hoarding them as like a little like, my precious. Um, and I'm like, it's not your precious. Yeah, yeah. But like, find something that is your precious. And like, you mm -hmm, want... Yeah. He's a stuffed animal kit where he's got like a bajillion. Mm -hmm. Um, well, and I, they're all his precious. When when Haley was really little, um, I you know I put away a few of her really special dresses and outfits <laughs> and things um, early on. And then when she was a little bit older, I started asking her what she wanted to keep yeah. for later. And basically, the answer was almost everything. All of them, yeah. And that's and that's not good. That's not. But yeah. now, like we've gone through some of that stuff, like in the last couple of years. And now she wants to get rid of everything. And I don't think that's good either. I, no. I'm like, I... I There's a middle. There, there are things that... Um, actually, one... This is so sad, too. But one... Um, in our basement, in our house in Brooklyn, my dad made this, like, storage wall. And there were all these compartments. And it was kind of like the back of the original Yarnia where we had all of oh, our yes, tubs. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My tub, which had my Girl Scout sash with every badge <gasps> except archery... Because you couldn't do archery in Brooklyn at that point. <laughs> there was, there was no place to do archery. <laughs> um, and, you know, all my little special treasures from high school and everything, it got lost in a move. Oh, yeah. no. So all of my, like, and that's probably another reason that I, I do tend to go overboard on some things. Because, like, that, that special box did get lost. Well, that happened to Jonathan. Like, he had, he had like, half of his stuff get lost in a move when he was moving cross country. Mm. And I was like... That's traumatic. Oh, it is traumatic, yeah. It's like it's also why he has like twenty bins in our basement and I have three. Um, <laughs> I told you last fall Charlie accidentally deleted three terabytes of family <gasps> photos from our computer. No. No. Everything oh. from twenty fourteen to twenty twenty one. No, all, all of the originals. I still have like what I whatever I had taken the time to edit oh, mm -hmm. God. and put on Instagram, but there are thousands of photos that I never had time to edit or that, yeah. you know, like I hadn't gotten uh, working on that event. Oh my God, that's my nightmare. I hadn't caught up 
from all of our trips last summer and hadn't edited anything. Uh, so all uh, of our photography, wow. all the trip to Maine last summer, uh -oh. nothing. All gone poof. Mm. He deleted it. Mm. So That's three awful. terabytes of photos. That's That's a lot of photos. A, a lot, lot of photos. There was photos. no videos. It was only photos. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yikes. Pro tip, if you're on a Mac, do not empty trash. It is unrecoverable. If you empty trash, that tells Apple, I want you to delete this forever. And they will. Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> wow. Don't Back up trash. your stuff, folks. Back up your I stuff. I thought it was backed up on the cloud. And? It was all back. If you tell, if you empty trash, it will delete it from the cloud. Really? Unrecoverable. <gasps> wow. Don't do it. Yikes. I will say Google Photos, if you delete stuff, you have 30 days before it's deleted forever. Yeah. Right. Like, if you just drag it to the trash, you have 30 days. Mm -hmm. yeah, but when you say delete trash, yeah. It's, that it's like a security thing. Mm -hmm. That tells them, this mm -hmm. is secure information that I want deleted. Oh my god, that would, uh, like, I it was awful. my anxiety. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting warm. <laughs> I know. Oh, I cried. Yeah, like, I would. Absolutely. I'm, it was terrible. Uh, oh my god. Uh, but what I don't a know. nightmare. That's a nightmare. Uh, it is. I mean, yeah. It's you lose things in life, and you can't get you them do. back. You do. You do. It's yeah. true. Yeah. So enjoy the things that you have, and the people you have, and the memories you have while you have them. That's right. That's uh, a good. That's a good transition point to to transition to. So we should talk about. Our, <laughs> I was thinking the same. Let's talk about finished objects. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about finished objects. Are three short sleeved or no sleeved knitted finished objects. Right, because Amanda's it. got. Like speaking of things that you've worked very hard on. It's so pretty. Yes. I love I it. Did. I'm so happy. So I'm going to Northlight Fibers um in like soon. Ten soon. days? Very cool. soon. Yeah. Yay. So I'm going up to Block Island with um four of our Yarnia customers. We yeah. had a, we had like a mini block in mm -hmm. there. There, um, to try it out for the first time to yeah, see yeah, exactly. how we do. To so see how competent successful. I am as a event planner, which has proven to be not competent. <laughs> I'm so far behind. So um, what I've learned from this is I need a lot more bandwidth if we're going to plan events. So And that potentially could be coming, right? Yeah, well, it could be. It depends. <laughs> so get basically... If you're interested in future Yarnia events, such as a retreat, retreat, retreat to Island Block Island retreat. with North Lights, then stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yes, or and comment below and let and us know that below. you do. Yes, yes. It's, it's and if fun. anyone has event planning experience and would like, oh yes, let us know. Yeah, if too. anybody would like to partner, let us know because yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's so that true. A lot of a lot of things are better done in partnership with someone who specializes. Totally, in yeah. Totally, yeah. totally, yeah. totally. So, but so talking anyway, about your, so, yeah, but so I want to finish. I made so very chatty I wanted today. to. Yeah, we are. That's okay. Um, <laughs> let's see how how we're doing on time. Oh, we're doing terrible on time. Great. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's that's kind of what I figured. Yeah. <sighs> so I started this. This is the Mino vest by Sylvia Watts Cherry. So pretty. Da -da -da. So gorgeous. This was in the By Hand Serial magazine. Um, I think it was issue 11, but it was the London edition. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Watts Cherry is a London designer, mm -hmm. London based designer. <coughs> and I picked this for a few reasons. First, um, I wanted to use uh, Northlight Spring Street, which is their fingering weight base. It's such a nice um, base. And so I had nice. never used it before. I've used all the other bases for Northlight Fibers, and we were going. So I really wanted to have the experience of using that. It feels so good. It mm -hmm. is like it really does. they comb the bejesus out of their yarn. So <laughs> like if you're like, oh, I don't like wool, it's prickly. No, -uh. not theirs. Sorry, there is none like in this or any of their yarns. They're mm -hmm. they're close to obsessive. Um, <laughs> so I'd say them and wolf on. Yeah, like are the two that is the most pristine comb. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So that's the first thing I wanted to use. So it's a fingering weight, so I did a fingering weight. It's all solid colors. Um, it's dyed in the wool. Uh, so like you don't get the, you know, it's not a hand, it, it's not a tonal yarn, mm -hmm. like a Alegria, mm -hmm. where it's dyed in the skein. So right. it starts with a white skein and then they dye it, which mm -hmm. ends up with color variations as the mm -hmm. dye takes it on the skein. This is all dyed in the wool. That means the fiber is dyed. They dye the fiber. And then they and make then the yarn. They, like comb the fibers and then spin it 
and I have some video of how that looks after I go after the um, retreat. Mm -hmm. I think I'll put together like a little mini episode. And you yeah, can see that works. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can see their techniques of like cool. dying in the wall. Oh my God, that's like my favorite kind of like Mr. Rogers goes to the crayon factory. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so fun. Mm -hmm. um, so so yeah, that was the secondly. Um, I have a lot of color work that is like Scandinavian, Northern mm -hmm. European, or Eastern European, or you know British, which all sort of has like similar shapes. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I really like Sylvia Watts Cherry was inspired by African patterns, mm -hmm. and it just has like a different. That's a different feel. That's yeah, a different feel, really cool. right? Mm -hmm. Like it's definitely something that wasn't like similar to everything else I have. It's and not like a, a new inspiration, pattern, right? Yeah, right. and it it's makes it like interesting. really interesting, I think, mm -hmm. to like um, pull in, you know, inspiration from different cultures. So I was really excited about that. And third, I had never knit color work flat. In other words, pearled it on the backside. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I did on this pattern. <coughs> is the, it's knit in the round to here, right? So by then I had invested enough that I couldn't stop and chicken out. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Motivation built and in. So then, yeah, I did it flat, the front and the back flat, and then seamed here at the shoulders, and then picked up for the for the necklines. It's so really nice. Yay! I'm super happy with it. It fits beautifully. Thank you. It does. It fits really nice. And too. the original, the model styled it with like a turtleneck. I like it with the crisp white I shirt. Think it was the white I shirt. love it with that whole outfit, yeah. Like yeah. denim skirt, the white shirt, the vest on top. So I think, cute. I mean, it's a, and it's a wide shoulder. I think you could wear this with no, no shirt. Oh, like I think tank totally. Totally wear totally. it like a tank. So, yeah. yeah. Huh. See. It's yeah. quite versatile. Love it. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know if I'd want to wear a wool double layer stranded, fully stranded sweater in July. Not that might be a little much. Maybe not July. Maybe not. But, <laughs> But yeah, so that's my finished object. I'm Yay! so happy. Yay. I finished Excellent. it less than a year, barely. I think I started it last May. Hey, but that's less than a year. Less than a year is less than a year. That's yeah, right. That I counts had a lot totally. Of interruptions, but I'm glad yeah. I finished it. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other finished objects? I do. Let's talk about. It. All right, I finished my outstanding. Yay! Yay! So pretty. Yay. I love your colors. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So, nice. so I finished my outstanding. I started it on um, on the day that we started. What was that? Mm -hmm. April fourth. April fourth, because I was on a plane flight. Yeah. So I cast mm -hmm. on literally as soon as I sat down on my sheet seat sheet mm -hmm. <laughs> in your sheet seat mm -hmm. in your sheet. And um, I finished the beginning part, and then I got to or I didn't finish it all on that trip. Um, mm -hmm. And I made it a little bit bigger. Um, I had twenty seven. Ridges uh -huh. on 25 mm -hmm. okay. because I was thinking. I think this is where I was in our last podcast, mm -hmm. like right before the color work. Yes, and Kathleen, you mentioned that you had or you were going to be a little bit short and had done the mm -hmm. mini too. Because I did the mini, yeah. And I talked to some other people who were like, Oh, yeah, it, it was it was running close. I was like, Oh, maybe I should start the color. <laughs> so I like immediately after the last podcast started the color work and mm -hmm. I'm glad I did. I had just enough of the main color to finish. I actually ran out of the main color like, cause you go back, I guess this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think <clears throat> like somewhere around here, mm -hmm. right? Like, so just finished so you, up. You just picked, I switched started to with your pink. edge color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just and on that that's fine. Day, that's so the kind of modification that nobody's yeah. going to know. No, mm -hmm. I can't even tell exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, you can't, yeah. you, you really can't tell, but, and you know what I just realized? I, I have my finished one too. I left it at home. No. Oh, what a bring pain. it next time. I'll talk about outstanding. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll get my acting gear and I'll finish my one. It's so beautiful. It is so like, I love it in the Tosh Marino light. Yeah. I love Tosh Marino light. So this is, this is Tosh Marino light. It's very drapey. It's like, um, I did a sort of poopy job blocking it. It's not pointy at the end, but that's okay. It will be. Uh, but I also like, cause this has, I wanted to have the, um, the pink with the copper mm -hmm. on the edge because it looks like jewelry mm -hmm. when you put it on. Yeah, it's it does. A little bit of sparkle it's a too. very subtle sparkle. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I was wearing this. Um, I was wearing this the other day when it was just like windy but not cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and it does feel like you have jewelry on just a little bit. You know, yeah. like a dainty necklace or something. Mm -hmm. It's funny on the. Um, we recently did Natalie of Nitty Nandy and I did an interview with Christy Archer, the designer of Outstanding. Yeah. Which you can see on which our Which is on our channel. Yes. Channel. Yeah, I'll if link you it missed below. it. It'll it'll be like probably the video before this. Yeah. Um 
So, but, but what Christy was saying is that is how she thinks about a lot of the shawls that she designs, that there really more, are more accent pieces that you might wear in place of a piece of jewelry or something. Yeah, I which, love that. I love that idea. Yeah, exactly. They're not meant to be big, heavy, like warm winter shawls. No, they're, they're just because she lives in California. There. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that was one of the things that I was asking her about. I'm like, you know, how, you know, because a lot of her stuff, she does make in wool too, but she makes them lighter. So right. That, yeah. Um, the gauge and, is bigger on this. So it makes a lighter yeah, piece. Yeah. It's a loose gauge. Well, and and not I, that she doesn't at all knit with cotton. She does. And we talk extensively about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Check it out. Check out the interview. It's really cool. It was fun. It was really, um, it was great to finally actually meet her. We'd been emailing for a long time. Oh, so even though it was only meeting via Zoom, I love that. it was, it was really fun. But yeah, there's something about like a summery shawl because I mean, we all know, like, if you work in an office, it's so freaking over air conditioned. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But also, like, evening, like, even on the hot days, e evenings get cold. Or you're seated or in a restaurant in a place that's, you know, Ooh. you're too close to the yeah, AC. Yeah. Or right? This is a Nashville today, and it's 80 degrees there. I might take this. Yeah, take it anyway. Or you're Amanda. And you're like, 80 degrees is chilly. Or, you know, I'm always freezing on well, planes. I'm gonna be on a plane. It's like, I always, yeah. I know, I'm I always, always bring a plane. knitted item on a plane yeah. because, and especially a shawl, you can just mm -hmm. kind of drape it yeah. where you need it. You and know? it just like squishes. Yeah. I so. know. It's a good yeah. thing. I haven't four been on a plane in so long. It's so a four season accessory. It's like talking about a, a past, uh, past I know. Well, on planes, too, I always turn the air on because even though I'm always cold on planes, I like the, the air first thing on me. Well, and apparently you're also supposed to do that because, like, the airflow and whatever, it keeps... Don't care. Yeah. Cold. You're like, still. Mm -hmm. Turn it off. I turn it on. Like, yeah, I know. I hadn't been on a plane till December, and now I've got multiple, multiple, multiple trips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like Jonathan. All of a sudden, he's like, I guess I'm traveling once a month again. I'm I know. Like, oh, good. So then I get the miles and the benefit. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. I was like, it's awesome. Um, do you have any other finished projects? I, no, I only finished two big projects. <gasps> only? That's good. That counts. <laughs> I got nothing. I finished oh, my Pokemon I, Well, you have what you're wearing. I, I yeah. should say. Oh, you finished the Pokemon Squares? Yeah. Oh, next. So, next time? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, the only thing I have is something that I finished last year, and it's the Aliso Creek Top. This was our s summer, spring? Summer. Yeah. Summer, spring. Our summer. warm weather. Uh, sweater class last year, and this is in summer solstice, which we have, and I think we have a couple of other colors. We have new colors. colors. Oh, that's colors yeah. And some darker colors. Yeah. Yes. And this is... Very and fern. I put them online last night. Yay. Nice. This is, uh, um, summer solstice is sport weight, um, and this is a great little top, like I'm wearing it over a linen dress, as is my usual what do I wear in the spring and summer so I wear your summer uniform. my summer uniform mm -hmm. um but it's it was a <coughs> pretty like it's a front-loaded sweater where it's top down you do this lace chart and then it's just just stuck in it. It. just easy peasy um, around right? easy peasy super springy it's mm -hmm. not too hot like you would be cold yeah um <laughs> Some people may have made it in long sleeve, or it, the pattern or calls for like even. Yeah, a so short a sleeve. Yeah, elbow length, right? A little. But I like a cap sleeve. Yeah. Um, yeah. Plus, that way I don't have to do the sleeves. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice thing about a vest. Yeah. Say. Mm -hmm. It's like it's handy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but this would also be a great option for what will be our new spring slash summer class which is going to be the anchor family of sweaters anchor a n k e r mm -hmm. by petite knits mm -hmm. she's got a number of sweaters all within the anchor family i made one for eric a while ago and it was mm -hmm. super the cute. red one i love that one yeah um and so it's basically uh i will have the schedule I'll put a up. up of eric and his if i can find one uh -huh. as soon I as have. yeah you have one i remember seeing it okay good then i'll put a picture up i think so um, I think it's on your project page. Probably. I made oh, a project yeah. page. Yeah. She made a project page for it because I remember looking at it. <laughs> going like, this looks good. Um, so yeah, so the sweater class um, will run some point late May, early June, as soon as I figure out my schedule. Um, so look for it up on the website. It'll be on Zoom. It's on Sunday mornings from 11 to 12.30, and I always run late, so I'm sorry in advance. Or run over. You're, yes. you're very prompt. I'm very run prompt. Long. But I run long. <laughs> but it's recorded, so if you have to bail, you have to bail. Yep, and you can um, watch it later. But the nice thing about the Anchor Family of Sweaters is that you could use Summer Solstice for one because she has them in mm -hmm. 
each pattern is a different oh, weight the light tea, the yarn. Anchor tea. So you could mm -hmm. do the anchor tee and you could make it long sleeve if you wanted to and I'll teach you how to do that. Um, there's the anchor sweater my size, there's the anchor cardigan, mm -hmm. um, and it's basically fingering, sports, or DK. Um, and so I will list in the class description which is which. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're doing a fingering weight sweater, this is the gauge and this is the pattern. If you're doing a and here are our Sport recommended weight. yarns. And here are our suggested yeah. yarns. Yeah. But I think one in summer solstice would be super cute. That would be really nice. pretty. Yeah. It has just a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, and it just drapes the really well. Oh, I'm like, it I'm like trying to shake a little. It's, it? it's tensile. Um, uh, it's like cotton, tensile, and something else. A little silk, maybe? Or maybe a little silk? You know what? It's right over here. Let me go grab a bowl. And I'm going to grab a bowl. Look at my um, and it's got like a little Tweety. Yeah. It's a little yes, Tweety going yes. on. But tweety. it looks great with a twisted rib or red and it even comes. It even comes in orange. In a Kathleen color <laughs> or a Jen Linen. Color. Linen, cotton. Linen, cotton, viscose. Viscose. Cotton. viscose. That's it. Mm -hmm. So the linen I and the viscose are super one. drapey. Mm -hmm. uh, the viscose gives it a little bit of sheen. It's very wearable. It blocks beautifully. So maybe I will do one. So check it out. Um, nice. Actually, when we get on to whips, I will, I'll tell you why I'm saying maybe, because I've been saying all along, I am going to do Jen's summer sweater, but yes. All right. I did Jen's you do it in summer solstice. spring sweater I once. I did, did the campsite carding. You did do the campsite carding. Yeah. Yes, I did. I, I did know. not put in short rows, which I regret. I told mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I said, I said short rows. That's one thing with the anchor <laughs> sweater. We will go over how to insert short rows into a sweater that does not have them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't put them in Eric's sweater, but he's a little boy. It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, kids, don't bother. Yeah. Like, whatever. They're going to put it on backwards. Do, do it or don't. He does put it on backwards. All the time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so and it fits. <laughs> and it fits. It's fine. They're, and if they complain about it and they're fussy, whatever, they'll grow out of it in two months. Um, <laughs> but like you. <laughs> yes. I should have put For short you. rows in my. Yeah. It's, uh, I've thought about pulling out the collar and putting Throwing them in short rows on the collar. Mm, you like could do that. Like a wider collar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might. Pull back like four I rows have, and then just add short rows and then do another four. I have mm -hmm. other projects. I mean, I still wear it. I have other projects I'm going to frog. Yeah. Them, so. It's not priorities. Short rows really help though. Um, and as with all sweater classes, I will go into detail <laughs> about why. Yes. Um, but yeah, so this is my only finished object mm -hmm. from last year. And because I stupidly did not bring my finished outstanding number two, which I did in this colorway with this it's hour. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I, I wore it on the interview, actually, with Christy. Um, I will bring it next time. I am wearing an also previously finished object, my Soldatna. I love that one. Um, done yeah, in color Scout. Combos. Thank you. I was wearing it one day during the wool walk, and a couple of people were like, oh. It's just like, to me, it's just such a standard combo, but I don't know. Do a lot of people not do gold and gray? I think a lot of people are surprised by yellow and gold. Mm -hmm. well, and, and, and they don't think to do it. Your your background color is spectacular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, that I forget so what, good. oh, this is matcha, I think. Yeah, it's And matcha. I do love how just the little pops. So I, actually, this is something that is a little bit different than the way the pattern is written. I did not want to do little um, fleas all over my belly. Yeah. <laughs> so I no. did not. So I picked a... Um, you know, a, a speckled yeah, a speckled yarn. So yeah. it kind of gives that feeling of being, you know, more than just solid it yeah, without actually doing the work, and, and it, it makes it lighter. Your contrast in. Yeah, exactly. It definitely it has all these colors in it. So um, and, and yeah, the top of mine it... is Scout. I don't know if I said that already, but the top yeah. is Scout. So it's like um, sunflower heather, cr you know, cream, and charcoal heather or something. Yeah. yeah, it's a great combo. That Grello combo, but I think what it is is also like pulling in the Team matcha Grello. cream. Like, so pretty. <laughs> Team Grello. So pretty. Um, so that is all I have that is completed with me, but shall I start from this end with yeah. what is on the... Do On the Needles. On the Needles. Oh, oh. So I'm going to have to dash after On the Needles. Sorry, guys. Okay. I've got 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, do you want to start with On the Needles, then? That's do you want to okay. do that? Do yours first. All right. I'll be quick. Do you I'll have a quick. ton On the Needles? Um, I have a couple. I might. Oh, all right. I'm so. Jen. I might... We'll skip Jen. I'm like, you skip me, me, Jen. All right. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't have a lot. So on the needles for me is <laughs> outstanding number three because um, I was the one who picked the colors for all of the Tosh sock kits. And actually, I might just, rather than do a whole separate segment on it, 
we were out of all of, you know, thank you guys. You were a big part of why we sold out of all of the kits we originally put together. But we did have a lot of interest, so we made more. They are still available on our website, various quantities, depending on what colorway you're interested in. And check so, them out. They're really pretty. So um, they are. And, and I, I loved all six of them. I'm not making six straws, at least not at this point. <laughs> But yes, she said that. I got that. you on the room. Exactly. I, well, and you know, I don't know. Partly, well, there are different reasons. That well, this is going to be this is going to be our giveaway. Let's, we're actually going to do the yeah. Oh, so let's let's talk about we're going to so, do a giveaway. Giveaway of the today. signature kit, Yarnia Lo Lo Love and Stitches Outstanding Shawl Kit. Do we have a question? What's our question? I think our question should be: if, How do you take your coffee? How do you take your coffee? Or do you take coffee? Or, or is do it you, tea? Or is coffee it or else? tea? Which wolf color would you be? That's right. <laughs> 19, 21, 22, 22, or 23. There you go. Um, and tea or coffee. Tea and tea or coffee. Tea or coffee, and then how do you or take it? Or something else. Because honestly, I also take my tea like this. I like dairy. I, 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 like, I like tea lighter than coffee, actually. I, I could do this in tea. Mm hmm But yeah. I'm always interested in what cool teas you're drinking too. I'm a fan of Aquarius from Adagio teas mm. right now. A little vanilla. I um, am nice. Earl Grey. Blue cornflower. Oh, I love Earl Grey or Lady Grey. Yeah, yeah. Earl Grey, Lady Grey. Mm -hmm. uh, bergamot. That bergamot. I love bergamot. I'll have to bring you some Bella Luna. Oh, it's Bella Luna. It's also from Adagio. You can only get it on full moon days. Oh, wow. I love Interesting. that. <laughs> but it's delicious. It's like an elevated Earl Grey. Oh, nice. I'll try it. Oh, we got to try that. Yeah, I'll bring some. I'll have a tea party. Um, so this is the kit I'm doing now. This is now neutrals. Um, I'm right. not sure where we got cut so off. So you're doing this kit? I am doing this kit. Um, yeah, usually I, I love putting kits together because partly it's almost like the fun of making something without actually making it yourself, especially when you see other people making yeah. it. <laughs> but for these, um, I did I did our sample, which is in the window of Outstanding, and we have our little mini one here. And you did that So in. I did sit one, set one in the signature colorway. I love the signature so I know, fun. it's so, so fun. It's so springy. It's so springy yeah. in summary. And it's very and happy. And then, then I was going to do this one, and then I said, you know what, this is so me, though. This is so autumnal. It's so yeah. I'm so into the autumn color race. But then, as I was finishing this one, I said, you know what, I really do want to do it in this one as well. Because you love of the grello. grello. I love the grello. You love a grello. So. Which is glazed pecan posh. Yep. Uh, pecan. Paper is the background. Glazed pecan is the gold. And great gray owl is the gray. It's and, such a good gray. And um, I'm so happy with it. And actually... One tip, if you are making an outstanding, and I, it, I'm not making this because of that reason, but on this one, I edged it in uh, the Whiskey Sour, which is the darkest color. Mm -hmm. And so then cool. I was realizing that um, I wear a lot of dark tops, so it's not really going to contrast with it. Oh. So I tipped it in tart. I love the tipping. And the I tipping like was them. fun. But, you know, I'm not going to tip this one. I decided I, I like the tipping as a as a, an option, but I don't want to tip all of them. Which color are you going to do as the last? So I'm going to do the last as the gray because I wear a lot of gold. Oh, so then yes. it will have the contrast automatically. Very oh, thoughtful. Nice. So um, so this one hopefully will be done by next episode, and I'll I'll have all three of my outstandings here at the same time. Maybe I'll have my That's one. That's so exciting. <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll have to bring mine. <laughs> yes, bring it back. We, we, yep. should, we should plan on the outfit, which means that I'll, I, I'm good with the deadline. Yes, 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 we'll give you I'll a deadline, do a deadline. So probably two weeks from today. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll right. so, do that time. Yeah. Um, where well, is... I mean, I want to do the deadline for the, the knit along as well, which yes, ends yes. on. Yes, yes. So we don't qualify for pri uh, prizes. We don't course. qualify oh, for yeah. prizes, we but I still want to hit the deadline. And actually, that is a really good point. Um, on the 26th of May, which is the Thursday right before Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. yep. um, on Natalie's YouTube channel, we are going to have a closing ceremony. Closing ceremony! Yes, which is so fun. That'll I love be so that. Fun. She did that for one of her, uh, I think, the fall garment make along or something, and suggested doing it for this. And I was like, absolutely. <coughs> because one of the cool things. Um, if you go to her website, and we will get it on our website yes. um, soon too. Before this comes up, It'll there's be there. there's a link. link there's a link to um, a Google Doc where you say I finished my shawl, and that's how you submit for prizes. We're going to do an, a drawing from Instagram post as well with the hashtag Spring No Spring Summer. Spring Shawl Cow Spring Shawl Cow 2022. We're going to do a, an Instagram drawing for that, both Natalie and Yornia. And then we are also going to, you know, do randomly awarded prizes based on people who submit the form. Um, right. And when you submit the form, there will be an extra question that says, 
would you like to be on our Zoom? Like, would you like to show off your show? Oh, yeah. Isn't that fun? That's so that's fun. how. So anyone can attend uh, it on YouTube. Anyone can watch and comment on YouTube. But if you, because it's going to be alive, but if you would like to actually show your shawl, when yeah. you fill out that form saying, I finished my shawl, say yes, send me the Zoom link, I would like to participate. And I, I think we can have up to 100 people. So I don't oh, know that great. we're actually going to have a full 100, but, you know, we'll, we'll go through well, maybe it. Maybe we can have the Brady Bunch grid of like. Yeah, exactly. And maybe, maybe we'll do pages. it. Maybe we can even yeah. do it by like <coughs> what colors you did or whatever. Just like oh, group them or something. That's yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. That. So that is all things out stranding for now. Excellent. Super Almost. quickly, I That's have started two summer sweaters. Okay. <laughs> what have you started? Which is why I said I may do this one. You and I have very similar whips. Do we? Yes. Well, yeah. So because this is actually you're the same color. So um, one one that I actually truly have started. I started it last night is the Seven Sisters top. And okay, this is um, a, it's a Blue Sky Fibers published design. Oh yeah. Um, it is by oh, Sloan Gillum Lacoste. It's really cute. It's a, it's a cute, very straightforward sort of, springy, springy. you know, basic to wear with jeans or with a, you know, white pair of pants or whatever. And um, it actually calls for five inches of ribbing. I don't think I'm gonna do five. I think I'm gonna do four. Five's a lot. Five is a lot. So I- I'm tired of ribbing. <laughs> yeah, and also I just don't I don't necessarily love the way five inches of ribbing looks. Yeah. I think four will well, be fine. Well, I mean, and that's like one of the modifications to it, exactly. Why you're exactly. making the sweater? You, it, that's, you make it the way that you want. Exactly. So I am using uh, a new yarn by Juniper Moon Farms, Damask. So nice. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the such a nice linen the stormy stormy sky stormy, stormy sky skies. colorway. So I think I had oh. my swatch last time. Did I have it last time? I don't know. I think you showed it. I don't, May, I don't know. May, I, maybe I didn't have it last time. I don't know if you did. But anyway, when I when I, I swatched this yarn, not being sure which sweater I was going to make, mm -hmm. and I had been looking at a bunch of patterns, and when I saw the gauge and how the fabric was coming out, um, I decided it would work for Stormy Sky. Even though yeah. this is a sport, and Stormy Sky actually calls for a worsted. Oh wow! But it's a, it's a it's whatever the gauge that's important. Yeah, it and, really is the gauge. And actually, this has a similar look even to the yarn that they used for it. It's yeah. not identical, but it's a similar kind of modeled look. Well, because so. the the linen, um, the construction of damask is like a it's like an I cord. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a chain, chain at too, mm -hmm. which is super beneficial for working with linen because linen yes. has no inherent stretch on its mm -hmm. own. And it's it and it is fiber. very comfortable to knit because yeah. it's chain at. Be, yeah. And normally, like a, a linen. A normal spun linen could kill your hands, but the chainette gives it a little bit of that give that linen yeah. doesn't have. I, I definitely, I don't love knitting things with no stretch, and I, I knit either. all of this last night. I had no problem, and that yeah. was after finishing something else. I had no, so, I had no problem yeah. working with the damask, too. and the same with the summer solstice. I think the, the viscose um, uh -huh. really helps give it a little bit of the spring. Like or it was mint or something, yeah. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. something about it that it just doesn't, it doesn't... Mm -hmm. It has a little bit more give than mm -hmm. a straight plant fiber tends to have. Mm -hmm. um, oh. I know, right? <laughs> and then the other, well, the, the one I thought I was going to make was Bolin by Layla Raven. Um, that's what I was really originally sort of swatching for. And then when I decided to use Damask for that instead, I said, I'm going to make a Bolin, which is done, uh, it's knit in pieces horizontally, oh, yeah. or, or actually it's vertically really, and then you join them. So I'm going to use Zoe, and I may use, I, like that color. I may do white pepper, or I may, we may, maybe we'll do another little order soon before we meet with Jay mm. even, and I'll do, <laughs> I'll do caramel, something a little darker than this. Yeah. So we'll see. So that is summer sweater plans, and I am going to have these things done soon. I mean, summer sweaters go so quick. <laughs> they do. The like short sleeves, really no sleeves, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So. Any that's other whips? Me. That's me on the whips. Okay. Do you want to go? Sure. I'll tell you what I'm knitting on. I'm knitting on my Eastbound sweater by Courtney Kelly. That's Yay. right. Yeah. Yay. I'm actually taking this with me. I have to, like I said, I have to go to Nashville today for work. Um, I'm taking this on the plane um, because it's at a point where it's like super brainless, blah, blah, blah. You can just run around and around and around. Um, and if I get to the sleep divide then that's fine I'll just go back and forth there's like a um anyway there's a chart at the top <laughs> mm -hmm. I forget mm -hmm. there's um, a thing yeah is it is the chart on the front and the back or just the yes front? it's it on the front both and sides. Back. Mm -hmm. yeah so I'm <clears throat> basically this is a words what do you call it like where you have dolman the, yeah, yeah it's a dolman, yes. uh -huh. it's a dolman yeah. sweater and it's like got basically no sleeves 
So you've got it's the got body goes out, and mm -hmm. then it's got like a ribbing band here, right? So um, there's there's no sleeves, but you knit a lot of fabric here. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so as I go around on the body, you can see I've got like mm -hmm. these increases here on the That's side. Pretty. That's it's pretty. It's really shape, pretty. The way they've done that, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and like I almost always do when I do increases or decreases, I mark them with stitch mm -hmm. markers. Um, and in this case, especially like since I'm traveling, I don't want to like um, refer to my pattern all the time. Mm -hmm. I just did an increase while we were sitting here, so I'll mark it. Mm -hmm. um, but I... Uh, and I love the idea of having, you know, keeping them there at the end. Yes, you know, this so is how many increases go. I need to do. Yeah, so if you have 20 increases, you put 20 stitch markers. That's right. And you Clip know it's on. every four rows or every, however many right. rows. Right, and then every time I do one, I take one off the end mm -hmm. and put it on here. And I know and when, when I'm, you're out, you're done. I'm done. That's right. That's great. Yay. I love that. So yeah, yeah, very fun. Love so, it. I made good progress on this since last time. I you think did. last time yeah. I just had the ribbing, mm -hmm. um, which, if you recall, I had to entirely rip out after I finished because I made a moibus strip. Oh, right. I, I was <laughs> thinking of that as I was starting on this list, and I'm like, is it flat? Is it flat? I oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, the one mistake you can't really come back from. No. Just no, no. It out. So, though, if you notice it on the second row, you can, yes. if, and that little twist doesn't bother you, you can, right. you can do it. I, if I had that. noticed it on the second row, I totally would have <laughs> fixed it. Yeah. Um, if I noticed, I noticed it after three inches. What is Not this? Is this the last go? It is the it last is, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the last go. Where's so, so They're pretty. talking about summer solstice as a winter, as a summer. <laughs> the last go. Last go. Worsted. <laughs> yeah, I will. I mean, especially if we go up to New Hampshire or something, I'm gonna wear. Oh, you'll wear that. It's a short yeah. sleeve sweater. Mm -hmm. I'll wear it. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. But that's also the kind of thing that you can wear in the fall as like a layering thing. Totally. You know, like yeah. Totally. No, yeah. it's like it's a great sweater. I love it so much, and I'm really looking forward to having it in this Lasco worsted. I love cool. that that shape so, too. I feel like it's so wearable. Mm -hmm. So I've been working on this. I will probably have quite a bit of progress because I've got the two and a half, three hour flight there, and saying, yeah, two and a half, two and a half. Yeah, it's a thousand miles. Um, so I have that. Is the only other thing I brought my upcoming crochet along? Maybe. 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 Oh yeah, you gotta talk to us about talk that. About, talk about okay. your, whip, your whip to be. My whip yes. to be, my plans. Um, so, for those of you, also for those of you who might have been around a long time, actually one of my old, we were we, we stream our old podcasts on the TV in our, by mm -hmm. the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and um, for the first three years we were open, I had a blanket knit along that mm -hmm. lasts a year. Mm -hmm. So basically it's a blanket that is done in squares or an afghan um, and I usually try to organize it so it's progressive. So we start with like mm -hmm. the easiest and mm -hmm. sort of like progress through the year and it's the chillest knit along ever. Yeah, no right? pressure. Just no do pressure do. And we only do one square a month. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you've got four weeks to finish one square. <laughs> yeah. Um, and well, and, and you can sort of like decide, and the great thing about blanket squares is you can decide how big you want your blanket to be. So if we did 12 squares, mm -hmm. you could have a small throw with 12 squares mm -hmm. yep. or, you know, like a lap throw. If you want to have, which is the last one that I did, um, is a queen size, it covers the That's top right, of a queen that, size uh, bed. <laughs> I did six of each square in mm -hmm. six different colors, mm -hmm. right? So you can really like flex. Yeah, you can decide how big or small to make it, how right. much of a time and financial investment it is. Absolutely, for yeah. You. Yeah, and but like still I, have the fun of the knit along. Right. Um, but this year, and the, I had planned this for 2020, and then... And then there was a pandemic. 2020. <laughs> no, 2020. Yeah, exactly. And so now it's 2022, and we're finally going to do my plan for 2020. Um, <coughs> and that is uh, Hooked on Sunshine's pattern hooked on grannies so it's a crochet along oh, so good. um she put out this pattern i think in 2019 mm -hmm. um as a crochet along for her group her crochet alongs tend to go pretty fast so she was mm -hmm. releasing like a square a week wow. which wow. is a lot to keep up with and if that you've ever done hard. like some of her other patterns like she does like pretty much she publishes a chapter for like 20 weeks or something like that and everybody's wow. crocheting along together but those last weeks get really big on some big blankets. Mm. Um, so in the spirit of a chill crochet along, we're gonna do one square a month. Um, <laughs> start off with the easiest one and sort mm -hmm. of like progress through. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to, I brought my, I brought 
Teddy's baby blanket so I can show you what a hooked on sunshine pattern looks like. Yeah. They're so beautiful. So fun. So Kinda this is gorgeous. Atlanticus by Hooked on Sunshine. So she does like these mandala designs. Um, and so, you know, Hooked on Grannies, it's going to be sort of like the center. And each one has sort of a pretty mandala. Uh, so it's such a beautiful look. Yeah, I love it. And they're, they're creative. Yeah, they're cool. This was... It's all um, granny based. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, well, and but she does a lot of front post and back post and clusters and things like this, which I had zero idea how to do before I did this blanket. Mm -hmm. um, but she also has some of the best video tutorials I've mm -hmm. ever seen. That's great. For real. So I you think really it's can learn a lot with this $5 to get the full video tutorial and every single stitch for every single square is wow. part of there. Like you can just watch that and that's, see that's how so to do smart it. to it's do it amazing. that way. Not, that is yeah. so worth it. Oh, mm -hmm. she puts tons of effort into it. And mm -hmm. then, um, and there's an amazing Facebook group where uh -huh. you can just like say, Hey, you can take a picture and you're like, Hey, my row 25 doesn't look right. What's wrong? What did I do wrong? And, and you probably have three people answering you within yes. an hour, right? Yes. They'll yeah. tell you exactly cool. what to do, whether you need to rip it out, whether you can just like fudge it, whether you should just ignore it and get over it. Mm -hmm. Um, how big are the squares usually? Like, how big do yeah. you, her? So, um, I actually used one for the center of my granny's mm -hmm. blanket last summer. So, they mm -hmm. are about, like, this big. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. right. Like, 14, 16 inches, maybe, yeah. something like that. Yep. yep. That's great. Yeah. And depends, I, I, I may join. I may do it. Yeah. And it depends <laughs> on, like, if you want make them. I mean, I'm going to use Well, you DK. can also adjust with the weight of your yarn. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm. use DK. Um, and I'm mm -hmm. going to use the King Cole Cotton Soft. And for some reason, like if you've seen my other blankets, I usually do grays and like sort of colonial colors, navies and mm -hmm. burgundies. You're I'm, very classic. I'm feeling spring and pastels. So yeah. That's what we're doing. Pastels. Cool. Love it. Um, these are some colors of King Cole that we have now. I'm placing another big order. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really affordable yarn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, so for making like a, and I don't know if I'm going to make as big as the one as I did last time. I might do like three or four squares of each. Mm -hmm. I mean, 36 squares. Well, and also they're, they're bigger squares too. They're big right? squares. So, so yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll I see love how, that palette. That's we'll see what cadence I get really up to. Um, very like palette. soft, soft yeah. kind of Easter I'm, eggy. I'm yeah. adding like another darker gray to mm -hmm. so oh, be like a be palette nice. of grays and then some pastels and the, there's a light purple and I think there's a light orange. She has a, like a ton of colors in there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's and like cotton soft has colors. a great range for this yeah. as mm -hmm. well. Like so in, these are the soft colors. They also have some bold colors, mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of yarns that you can use for this too. Um, cool. you could, the one that I did for my granny last summer, I used bold. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. um, but I just used a hook that was the right size. Yep. For the That's yarn. the beauty part about like blankets and whatnot. If you, you can use whatever you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You so can. long as you use the right tool yep. to get, it doesn't matter what your gauge is. You could use Noro. We and just have like it because it, it <gasps> color changes slowly, and so you can mm -hmm. do like the center and a noro that changes, and then do the outside in a white. That's so wow. Wouldn't that be pretty. That'd be cool. That would be so or if pretty. you did silk garden, you could like alternate yes. some of the like the multis and the solids. Yes, you could mix and match the really long pretty. color changes with the with the <coughs> solid silk garden. Yep, that would be beautiful. So, yeah. anyway, so when do you think do. that you're going to start this? My target is June twelfth. Okay. Um, which I have an extremely busy June. I'm gone 15 days, like <gasps> away from my house 15 days in June. Wow. Yeah. Um, but I think I can squeeze this in on the 12th. And that would be the in-person kickoff. And I've had a lot of feedback that now that we have a lot of virtual participants, mm -hmm. that folks would mm -hmm. like a virtual as well. So I think... And you're, you'll do, do them separately. It, it probably separately. Does, it probably does make sense. It's yeah. just yeah. Each, everyone has a better experience in their own right. environment when we do them separately. So I'll probably do two meetups a month, one virtual, one in person. Cool. Um, the in person will be on Sundays in the store, um, and then the virtual will be virtual. TBD scheduled. <laughs> yes. Virtual. TBD. Yeah. Um, maybe on the same day, like in the evening. So we'll mm -hmm. see. And mm -hmm. maybe I'll do two squares at least of each. That's 24. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A six by four. That's a nice proportion. Yeah. 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 And um, I'll start one in the morning, one in the evening. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. I think you just worked it all out. So, yeah. stay, so stay tuned. <laughs> and yeah. you'll be able to register. It'll be a free nibble on. 
Yes, my cr crochet. Crochet. Allen. Crochet. Allen. Allen. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Still a cow. Yes. Yeah. But with a. So like I said, I, d I don't instruct as much as Jen instructs. I'll uh, coach. In other words, you're doing a great job. <laughs> if you have a question about a stitch, I'll demonstrate a stitch. If you really want to like get instruction, um, A, the videos, like I said, I yeah, try to Yeah, it sounds pick, like there's a ton I of video support some, for this. I pick yeah. patterns with really good support. And B, we always do have help time at Yarnia, either in yes. person or Zoom. Yeah, which is great. Um, so maybe I should do it so I can do better help. <laughs> there, so you know what's there going you on. Go. Just yeah. in case. So, so sometimes, it, I mean, when people are in the midst of something like that, it really yeah. does help to really know exactly I what you're talking about. I learned so much during my Atlanticus. Like, my crochet ability went up, like, a ton. Mm -hmm. Just so. But that's and what actually, I just cows realized, are good for. Ha Haley will be home by then, so I will have my in-house <gasps> oh, crochet yes. expert available. Your in-house <laughs> crochet help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that that's the thing with any kind of cow, is that, like, especially if it's just, like, if you're pushing yourself a little bit, this is the kind of thing to do. If, it, if you're not necessarily up for taking a full class on it, like, you have yeah. the support, you have the pattern support, you have the, you know, community support. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it's a great way to kind of, like, mm -hmm. nudge yourself forward a little yeah. bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and have a beautiful product at the exactly. end. Yes, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Any other whips? That is Whipsy. it. Let's see. And actually, what, what are you doing time-wise? Oh. Are you already supposed to be gone? Yeah, I'm supposed to be gone. Okay, so everyone <laughs> I just realized what time it is. <laughs> Okay. Bye, Amanda. All right. <laughs> Bye, Amanda. See you later. Bye. Bye. Let's see. Let's see how far I get on my sweater. Good luck. All right. So Amanda is off on her adventure, um, but she shall return. So in the meantime, I have my outstanding, yes, which I did yes, not yes. make it very far. I mean, it's also a little crumpled because I had it shoved in. But I was working on this when I was away, and I literally I worked on it at I worked on it on the airplane. Oh, that's right. Yeah, spring, spring break. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, like, bang through the plane part. Um, or the, the ridgy part um, while I was on spring break. And then I did nothing except for uh, drink my ties. <laughs> by the pool. So I was it's like, vacation. It's I vacation. could work on it while I'm drinking a Mai Tai. But who am I kidding? I don't want to skirt up. <laughs> so I am doing similar colorway to Amanda, except for I swapped out my mane. For mine's a little, so mine's a little bit darker. A little bit deeper. Uh -huh. A little closer to where my coffee was mm -hmm. uh but i will also be I'd doing closer to her coffee actually right? i was gonna She's... say it's probably closer to her coffee and yeah. hers is closer to my coffee true so i've got to get my acting gear with the outstanding but i think now that i have done a couple of i've finished up a couple of things i should be able to do mm -hmm. that one I, of the things it's such a it's such a fun pattern it's such it? a fun, I, and it I was really so addictive it. i was like you yeah. know what i made like i basically did all of that on the plane Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and, and it was not that long of a plane flight. Mm -hmm. um, the, the other thing too, it is really like whatever section you're in. Once you've done a couple of repeats, you do not need to refer to the pattern anymore. No, if you, enough. it really, and I've seen people, you know, people commented on uh, Natalie's videos that mention it and everything. It is, it's really easy to memorize. So I think things like that are really what make great portable projects. Oh. Totally. You don't I want mean, to be sitting pulling your pattern. This is sitting in my car, so anytime I need to go pick up a mm -hmm. child, random or child, <laughs> and I'm like earlier, you know, they're running late, or they're late, <laughs> right? <laughs> or I'm waiting for soccer practice because I'm like, is it really worth going all the way back home mm -hmm. for like not even forty minutes, or should I just sit here oh, and listen that's to a totally podcast? Knitting and time. Knit? That's totally knitting right. Time. I should yeah. just sit in a podcast and, knit, and I'm yeah. not going to sit outside because the bugs will get me. So I'll just sit in my car like a crazy person. <laughs> Um, like a lot of moms, like a lot oh of people, God, like all of us, right? <laughs> so then here is my swatch mm -hmm. in Damask. Um, Very nice. And I did, I should go for this. So I swatched in and I have, so this dried, I washed it, I laid it flat to dry mm -hmm. uh, and it was crunchy. So then I've just been like ah, yes, beating good it idea. up because yeah. linen likes abuse. Mm -hmm. And linen gets softer and drapier the more you smush it, mm -hmm. and it also wrinkles less the more you smush it. So I've literally I threw this in my bag, and I have just been shaking it out. Well. Yeah, it's super I'll handy. massage my swatch. Um, so I did a couple of things. So I will also this will probably end up in the store once I'm done with a mm -hmm. sweater or I'm done done with it. So I did stockinette and I did it on size one, two, three, four, five. 
I marked it as fives. I did it on fours because I always go down. So if this is going to be for public consumption, right, right. normal humans would yeah. use a five. Mm -hmm. Me, and probably you, yeah, would use well, a four. Or less. Or less. Um, and then I did <laughs> like a little faux yeah. lace, a little lace faux cable. And then I did the ribbing pattern that's in the anchors yeah, to see yeah. how it would come out. Can I out. see? Can I yep. And then I went down Very a needle pretty. size because I wasn't sure how dense, how not dense, and I'd already seen Kathleen's. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and then I did the anchor pattern again, mm -hmm. and then I did a twisted anchor pattern. Ooh. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I want to oh, show this for the class. That right? is so pretty. It looks nice oh, in the Oh my god. It just makes it pop a little bit, but I also want to make sure to show that as an option for the class. I like that. So. See, you can have a lot of fun with swatches. I love... I mean, swatching I is very. I don't want to say I don't. I love swatching, but I feel like it's it's good to play with the. It's yarn. a tool. It's it a way to play. you know you can test things out, test drive things and before I know, you commit to an entire project with something you're not sure that works. Exactly, or and works I the know way that you people like worry about like it, maybe it's a waste of yarn or like you want to conserve your yarn. You can always rip it out. Yes. Totally. Right? You don't need to keep the swatch forever. No. If you, I mean, how many times have I almost run out of yarn and ripped out the swatch and been like, guess I have enough to bind off now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, exactly. Right? Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's like holding it on the side in yeah. a very special way. <laughs> yeah. And for whatever reason, psychologically, it totally makes me feel like, well, now I won't run out of yarn because I have a swatch. And if, especially if you have a big swatch, if you really yeah. played around with, I mean, this, this is a decent amount of yarn that, yeah. and I'm... It's funny, we were both in the store uh, talking to a customer the other day who, you know, wasn't really sure she wanted to swatch she and all of that. It's like, it's like, yeah, it is, if you're making a sweater, it is worth swatching. You need to swatch. You need to swatch. I, I mean, this is the thing, like. Or, or if you don't, be prepared to have a sweater that doesn't fit. Right. So what is a waste of time? Making an entire sweater that doesn't fit or making a swatch? If you're going. That's and, what. This I, is I, I need to, I need to find a good analogy for yeah. that because really I'm. Unless so you're many really people to don't rip wanna, out. So many people don't want to. Swatch. No. Well, and like I know Amanda is not always going to swatch, but Amanda's also not afraid to. She doesn't out. care about ripping things out. Like so right. that's so but, she's but like the, average, oh, the ribbing doesn't fit. My my gauge is off. Oh, I'm gonna rip it out. But the right? average knitter won't do that. The average knitter will, especially someone who's coming in Get like looking hardened. for advice. They're like, oh, I made a sweater and it doesn't fit. And and then it's like, well, did you swatch? And they're like, no. <laughs> and it's like, well, that's why your sweater doesn't fit. But also sometimes like. The yarn might not be right for your project, but it might be right and for another project. Exactly, and, you end up and with that's Kathleen. that's a way to learn that. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I like you swatched in my with one project in mind, but realized like when oh. I saw what the fabric was, I'm like, oh, I can actually make this other thing that I had in mind that I wasn't sure what I was going to use for that. Yeah. So that's yeah. yeah, it's it's a learning tool. A swatch really is a learning tool. Totally. It's it, they're totally worth making. Like Jen said, you you know. I never, I don't get rid of a swatch till the end of a project. No. At that point, I'll frog it or get rid of it or whatever. I just throw well, it in the bag. <laughs> and, and actually, yeah, I, I leave <laughs> it with my yarn while I'm, I would leave it with my yarn while I'm working on something. But well, also, also, a lot if of you ever live here, yeah. you, you bring them here. I mean, and if you need to repair a sweater, yes, yes, and you still is, have the swatch, you've got your yarn right it. there, and it's probably easier to find it than <sighs> any other way you could store it, right? Oh, yeah. And know what it is because you're like, exactly. oh, this looks the same. Oh, that's that. Um, yeah. I will say, and the same thing I say every time for any swatch, make it bigger than four inches. Mm -hmm. You're not making a square. You're not making a gauge square <laughs> yeah. and that is exactly four inches because <laughs> yeah, I do. can make, you know, a 24 stitch square. I can make that fit four inches. I can make that not fit four inches. Yeah. And that yeah. is not an accurate measurement of your gauge. Yeah. Make it. At least make it wider, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and then I'm, measure in, mm -hmm. inside, nowhere near the ends. Just and, always, always, always. And I would say I am a little lazy on that. I mean, mine, mine is probably like thirty oh God, stitches wide. But no, you you make good. But yours is bigger than four inches. It is. It is. You yeah. gotta go. You gotta go bigger. I, like the, you don't the, necessarily need to go taller, mm -hmm. right? Like I, I'll, I'll fudge there. Mm -hmm. But like, cast on forty stitches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause, or or if you're lazy like me, thirty stitches. Yeah, you can get away. With it depends. It depends on what gauge you're going for too. Uh, yeah, it depends, it depends on, on what 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 the right. uh, pattern is calling for. But like, but yeah, do beyond what they're calling for four inches. Yeah, and and the more beyond, the better up to a degree. Exactly. Otherwise, you're never going to be. You you might luck into it, or you might have the knowledge behind it. Like if it's a yarn that you've worked with before, that exactly. That, that, that I, was the other thing we talked about. It's yeah. like yeah, we don't. If we've used a yarn like Lucky Tweed. 
in a million sweaters. Oh my gosh, we know for a certain fabric, we know what needles to yeah. use. Um, but that's and but the if same it's a new yarn scout. to you or whatever. Yeah, I know exactly. what needles to use, yeah. and I have enough. I have enough scout swatches because I've done them yes. and I've saved them. Yes. Um, that I can always be like, yeah, this is probably what I'll get, mm -hmm. and close enough. Yeah. Um. So let me talk about my last whip, which yes. am I dropping things? Probably. All right. So Ooh, I'm still working on this. However, I have finished sleeves. Yay! Oh my goodness, that's great. Yeah, I'm like, and I <laughs> tucked them in. This is my retro pullover. Mm -hmm. This was our winter sweater class. Mm -hmm. um, several students have finished. I have just been pulled in 85 directions. Yeah. But I have sleeves, so now Yay. it's like a weird little crop top. <laughs> Does not even just barely comes to whatever. But I have sleeves. They're completely done. So cute. They're finished. Oh I might need to judge the the bind off. I did a. Um, tubular bind off mm -hmm. uh without the setup rows which i actually really like mm -hmm. um am i coming off needles no i'm fine um yeah, yeah so now i'm nice. just at the point so i'm now at the point where it just takes forever to go around but it's fine i think i have i measured this is also where it's handy where a cable pattern i could measure how long each repeat is and it's about an inch so i know i can know how many you know eight how many repeats, repeats you want to do i'm gonna yeah. do and so It'll be a lot easier, and then by the time I'm done with the body, then I'm done. Yeah, that that is so, a nice, nice way to do it. I took a I took a little detour to do the sleeves and finish the sleeves because I knew that you have a history with sleeves. I have a history with <laughs> sleeves, although the sleeves go relatively quick compared I to know, the body. I know they would languish. I would finish the body, and then yep. I would not have sleeves, and I would be mad at myself. So that is a great tip if you are a person also who who gets or me gets in a sleeve funk. Yeah. Do that. Get those sleeves out of the way. Get them done. Like get past your obviously past your sleeve divide and do right. some on the body, but then yeah. switch over to sleeves. And actually, I think somebody who was in the store even said like, or maybe it was you, um, you know, they did they did one sleeve for a while and then they went back to the body and then they did the other sleeve for a while been and then yeah. <laughs> or it, I do it, like it, to alternate because sometimes you're it, like, I need mindless, and sometimes yeah. you're like, I don't it, need it also could have been Emily. Emily, oh, I think might have done that. Yeah. So. so this is the other thing. I just pulled the sleeves to the inside so I don't have like whoop, whoop, yes, lots of fabric it around. floating around. Yep. And then I'm tucking one cuff into oh, the other so cuff. Oh, so clever. I love that. And then That's I have a, a tidy little bundle. Bundle. Yeah. Just like that. Very nice. So I'm going to be Very working nice. on this over the course of the summer. Um, maybe I'll get my act together beforehand. But I got to do the outstanding first. I got to do the description for the class. Mm -hmm. And then that's third. That's third priority. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Excellent. Very so we nice. are going to move to new in to new in store. store. So we talked a little bit about our outstanding kits. Yes. We have restocked. Um, our our giveaway is going to be one in the signature colorway. Yeah. Um, and then the other big thing, and if you Tell saw us a lot of like our coffee, yes, or tea, or whatever beverage you drink. So this um, came in during the wool walk. This came in during the wool walk, which it was very exciting to unpack. Exciting and crazy. So I just have a few things pulled, but we did get our next big restock of La Bien and <laughs> So, and I just pulled a few oh. combos. This is uh, Merino Super Sock. This is one of our new colors, Jinju, which is a beautiful neutral. Isn't it gorgeous? One of the things we focused on this time was getting colors that really worked together in a group so that mm -hmm. if you either... You know, if you want a shawl with two colors, or if you even want socks where you've got like one tipping yeah. the other and like make, you know, make a pair for you and a pair for a friend where you've got different contrasts or whatever. So we, we pulled sets or we, we filled in sets, we added sets. Fiori, that is one of the most popular colors ever. Um, for How beautiful LBA. do these two look together? Yep. And then you can add in the Ichigo, which is the light pink that is, um, you know, in, in Fiori. And then oh, don't forget Flora Morganite, which is the color of the deep pops in that pink. Oh, I love this combo. And Amanda was here last night. She took pictures of all the new colors, so they are all up on the website now as we're speaking. So they'll certainly still be there when you come in to look at them. Oh, let's this so, out. And let me um, tell you, I was walking around when we were shelving, mm -hmm. and I was basically just like, "Hello and welcome, my new child, <laughs> my precious, my precious, my precious babies." Mm -hmm. Um, I love these four. Aren't they so together. pretty? Yeah. I think they're so So pretty. sometimes just the yarn itself can give you inspiration on what you want to make. So. Totally. Totally. So maybe for something for fall. So this was Merino Super Sock. So this is just yeah. a portion of oh, what yeah. we have. Oh yeah. This is, yeah. We, we got, I don't know, we restocked like 15 colors of each. And then five boxes. Additional, yeah. Five giant boxes. 
got additional uh, new colors beyond the ones that we restocked. Mm. So this is um, this is the Merino DK. So this is the color Smoke, which is a gorgeous light gray that blends nicely into Drea, which also blends nicely into Sosu. And then we've got our ever popular Yellow Brick Road Graffiti. I, oh. I am definitely going to make a, cut, a sweater in that in the fall. This is such a fun combo. And again, I think this is why I, I, I think the yellow really helps. Like, because you don't necessarily think you think, all right, I'm, if I'm going to go from this, I'm going to go more blues. But like, look at the yellow and it just makes that combo mm -hmm. pop. Mm -hmm. And then if you take out the yellow, you could also throw this in between Hegelia, which is oh, one of Hegelia. such a gorgeous blue. Hegelia it may have been the one that I was carrying around like my child. <laughs> it's super popular. And that was the other thing. We learned what sold really well, so we got twice as much of those colors. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then there's always the ever popular Brello. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we've got, you know, those. And those then actually the stone fun. works with that as well, of course. Grello. Boom. So, there you go. And there's other ones in between. Oh, we also but have cashmere. We do have cashmere. Oh, I didn't pull any of. Oh, okay. I didn't pull any of that this time, but um, cashmere is one that I think you need to feel. You do. You do. But like, come in and check it out. Our wall is jam packed. It's bursting, and so are our overs, which are upstairs, which is very handy. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so it's one of those things where like, check out the listings online. Check out. Mm -hmm. um, the store in store wall. I mean, it's one of those things where like La Vienna May is so the reason she has the reputation she has is because she is so good. Yeah. Um, both as, you know, running a business, but also like the colors, the yarn bases, the thoughtfulness behind her entire line mm -hmm. is something that um, I don't want to say it's rare because I don't think it's rare, but I think it's something she just special. does it so well. She does. Yeah. She's she's a perfectionist, but not in a way where not obnoxious, not way. not and not in a stressful way. It's just no, like you just see very... that you we all have the yes. result of her, you know, beautiful yeah. perfectionism and just wanting to have such an exquisite product. Yeah. And it is such an exquisite product. And to see the colors and the color combos and the the thoughtfulness behind the dye combos, and it's like mm -hmm. that's what makes. Yeah. Indie dyers who do their stuff so well, so special. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Like, and again, like, I, d I don't think it's rare. I just think it's special. Yeah, exactly. Um, and because it doesn't need to be rare to be special. It yeah, can just yeah. Be, and we appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Like my precious babies. Yeah. Like, so. I seriously was being like, here's <laughs> 10 skeins of Hegelia. And then, like walking Some around. Some people, people carry like, bouquet. You're crazy. Some people carry a yarn bouquet. Right. Exactly. This is America. <laughs> this is American like... yarn. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do the queen wave. I oh, know. Do the queen wave. Turn, 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 turn. Um, so, yeah, I, think, I think punching. before the battery runs out. <laughs> I know. We're still, this is still the after effects of Wall Walk. <laughs> it is. It's like, it really is. It's, it's hard to catch up on sleep. And me drinking an entire coffee in like one second. No. Um, so, I, so think, I think that's probably it from us before yeah. we run out of battery. I, I, am, so, I am leery of that. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for joining um, And actually, thank you. I noticed a lot of more people liked the last video because yay. we did thank ask. Thank you. That you really like. helps us. It does. It, it does. really it does. It feel good to see that. Um, um, yes, and if you haven't, just like if you like us. If you don't like us, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we like you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe too, and you can follow us on Instagram mm -hmm. as Shop Yarnia, Facebook as Shop Yarnia, our website is shopyarnia.com, and obviously we are Chronicles of Yarnia on YouTube. Yep. Um, you can always share podcasts with your friends by clicking the little share button and whatnot. But also, if you've missed previous episodes or mm -hmm. you didn't, um, you weren't able to catch our interview or Kathleen's interview with Christy Archer. Um, go check it out. It's probably either queued up behind this one yeah. or just yeah. scroll through. Mm -hmm. um, and in the meantime, we hope you guys have a great week. Thank you yep. for coming out for Wool Walk, everyone. Yes. And comment below so you two can win a kit for Out Stranding. Um, and one other thing I was going to say, um, the last set of uh, the Black Pearl Magic Bag sold out so quickly. We are going to be announcing in our newsletter when they are, you know, we're going to be taking pre-orders and kind of announcing that waiting list through our newsletter. So 
if you're not already on our newsletter list, go ahead and sign up. You can yes. do that on any page of our website. Go all the way to the bottom. There's a little box on the lower right hand side and it, you just type your email address in there and say subscribe. Yep. We send it out once a week and that's basically the, she the does way a really we good announce job writing it. everything. Everything. That is the main source of all yeah. of, all of our info. So, but also Instagram, don't forget to follow that. Yeah. We have, we have fun with that too. Yeah. But it's like the, the newsletter is the comprehensive place. Yeah. That's the Instagram where words, is peaks of, of that's where words that. come in. Yes. Many words, <laughs> many words pictures. in a good way. Helpful words. All right. Exactly. Thank, Thank you, you for guys. watching. Love spending time with you and we will see you again soon. Bye.